This is a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose, where we bridge the gap between revival and spiritual maturity. I'm Tori Slaughter, your host and Bible study teacher. Let's dive into today's topic. Wisdom, Folly, and the Fear of God. For our Bible study portion, we are continuing our study of Ecclesiastes, chapters 10 through 12, which is part of our assigned reading for today, imparts profound wisdom about the meaning and purpose of life, this entire book. Amen. But I want to point out a few key points from these chapters, chapter 10 through chapter 12. Point number one the value of wisdom and righteousness found in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 1 through 15. King Solomon contrasts the outcomes of wisdom and folly. Wisdom symbolized by a wise man's heart leads to honor and success, while foolishness symbolized by a fool's heart leads to destruction. He advises prudence and speech, careful planning, and avoiding the traps of laziness and incompetence. Moving down to verses 16 through 20 in chapter 10, we deal with authority. Solomon highlights the challenges of dealing with rulers and authority figures. He underscores the importance of discretion and patience in handling such relationships. He continues this importance of diligence in chapter 11, verses 1 through 6, where Solomon encourages us to be proactive in approaching life, urging people to cast their bread upon the waters, diversify their investments, and seize opportunities. This reflects the principle of faith and diligent effort. We also were called to remember God in our youth in verses 7 through 10 of chapter 11, where King Solomon advises the young to enjoy their youth, but also remember their creator. The implication is to live life to the fullest while maintaining reverence for God and recognizing that one's actions do have consequences. And finally, our last point in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 1 through 14, fear God and keep his commandments. Solomon concludes his reflections by stressing the importance of fearing God and keeping his commandments. He vividly describes the challenges of old age, metaphorically using the imagery of a decaying body and the decline of physical and mental faculties. The conclusion is that life is fleeting and should be lived with a profound reverence for God. King Solomon's main point and life application, we see seek wisdom and prudence in our daily decision, respect authority while maintaining discernment, embrace diligence, take calculated risks, and seize opportunities. Enjoy life, but remember our Creator in all that we do, and recognize the brevity of life and prioritize our relationship with God. Solomon's message reminds us that true fulfillment, true purpose comes from our relationship with Elohim, our God, our Savior, our Lord, and our obedience to his will. By living with the fear of God as our foundation, we can navigate life's complexities and find meaning in even its fleeting nature. Amen? Amen. Before we continue and we focus in on chapter 11, verses 1 through 6, let's pause, gather your Bibles, your notebooks, your pens, your pencils, and listen to this special announcement. Hey there, Purpose Enthusiasts, this is Tori, and we are here to bridge the gap between revival and spiritual maturity. It is a privilege to manage this daily ministry. And God said, I didn't have to do it alone. I am joined by Melinda Douglas, Robin Lambert, Lisa Gant, Christina Price, Irvine St. Belus, Diana L.W. Coleman, Sheila Arrington, Lindsay Capering, Kendra Dublin, Detria Moore, Timmy Michael O., Stephanie Wright, Reason A. Chandler, 
Joshua Slaughter, Megan Martin, Roderick Slaughter, Tiffany Langston. Follow us as we follow Jesus and be renewed each day as you listen to the Bible teachings and devotionals that align with the Bible in a year plan. We are your go-to podcast and YouTube source for daily inspiration, insight, and encouragement. Don't miss the opportunity to elevate your journey and tell a friend they can come along with you. Now, let's transition back into a daily purpose. Day 248, Seeds of Faith by founding writer Tori Slaughter. In Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verses 1 through 6, we are going to dive in verse by verse because it speaks to the core of our faith journey. This passage attributed to the wise King Solomon carries profound insights that resonate across generations. And today I invite you to join me in exploring the timeless wisdom of Ecclesiastes 11 verses 1 through 6. Verse 1, cast your bread upon the waters for you will find it after many days. King Solomon begins with a poetic metaphor that encourages us to take bold steps of faith. To cast one's bread upon the waters is an act of trust and generosity, often symbolizing sowing seeds. In our lives, we encounter opportunities and challenges that call for faith-driven actions. We are called to sow, to give, and to invest in the kingdom of God, even when we cannot immediately see results. The promise here is that our faithful acts will bear fruit in due time. Verse 2, give a portion to seven or even to eight, for you know not what disaster may happen on earth. So this verse underscores the theme of faith-driven generosity. It compels us not to hold back in our acts of kindness and giving. The uncertainties of life are ever before us, and we do not know when adversity may strike. By extending our generosity to many, we increase the chances of our kindness returning to us when we need it most. In essence, this verse speaks of the principle of reaping what we sow, whether in acts of compassion or in our relationship with God. Verse 3, If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves on the earth. And if a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it will die. Solomon uses the imagery of nature to remind us of the inherent order of God's creation. Rain falls where it's needed, and a fallen tree remains where it has fallen. In our lives, there is a divine order at work, and God orchestrates events for his purposes. Verse 3 encourages us to trust in his divine providence and timing, even when circumstances seem unclear or when we face unexpected setbacks. And verses 4 through 6, He who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the way the spirit comes to the bones in the womb of a woman with child, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. In the morning sow your seed, and at evening withhold not your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, this or that, or whether both alike will be good. Solomon concludes this passage with powerful admonitions. He speaks of the dangers of overanalyzing and waiting for the perfect conditions before taking action. Just as we cannot predict the mysterious work of God and the formation of life within the womb, we cannot fully understand his ways in our circumstances. Therefore, we are called to sow our seeds of faith in the morning and evening without hesitation, trusting that God is at work in all things. To wrap up this devotional and Bible study, Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verses 1 through 6 invites us to live a life of faith-driven generosity, trusting in God's divine order and providence. 
let us cast our bread upon the waters, knowing that our faithful acts bear fruit in their perfect time. May we not be paralyzed by uncertainty, but rather sow our seeds of faith with boldness and trust in the one who makes all things beautiful in his time. Amen. Amen. Day 248, Seeds of Faith by founding writer Tori Slaughter. Ecclesiastes is the perfect opportunity to dive deeper and ponder King Solomon's insights, his wisdom, and most importantly, how we can apply it in our lives today. And this podcast offers you the perfect chance to initiate a conversation about God's Word. We are deeply grateful to you for sharing a daily purpose, Bible study, and devotional with your friends and family. We thank our many sponsors and Patreons whose donations help us to provide this valuable content. If you feel led to contribute financially and become part of the Our Given Purpose family, please visit OurGivenPurpose.com. Your contribution will help us spread God's message and connect with people all over the world. Remember, you have seeds to sprinkle and don't lose sight of the ones falling on you. Where will they grow? By the road and shallow soil and the thickets? Or will they find a home in good soil to flourish and produce a good work? What God has begun in you, he will complete. Have faith and be bold. You've just heard a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. Go ahead and share it with a friend right now.